Coverdale Bible, the first book of Moses, called Genesis, what this book containeth, chapter 32. Jacob sendeth presents unto Esau, putteth God in remembrance of his promise, and wrestleth with the angel, which changeth his name, and blesseth him. The thirty-second chapter. Jacob sent messengers before him to his brother Esau into the land of Seir, of the field of Edom, and commanded them, and said, Say thus unto my lord Esau, Thy servant Jacob sendeth thee this word. I have been out with Laban, and have been hither to among strangers, and have oxen and asses, sheep, servants, and maidens, and have sent forth to show it thee, my lord, that I might find favor in thy sight. The messengers came again unto Jacob, and said, We came unto thy brother Esau, and he cometh forth also against thee with four hundred men. Then was Jacob sore afraid, and wist not what way to turn himself, and divided the people that was with him, and the sheep, and the oxen, and the camels into two droves, and said, If Esau come upon the one drove, and smite it, the other shall escape. Jacob said, Moreover, O God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, Lord, thou that saidest unto me, Depart again to thine own land, and to thy kindred, and I will do thee good. I am too little for all the mercies and all the truth that thou hast showed unto thy servant. For I had no more but this staff when I went over this Jordan, and now am I become two droves. Deliver me from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I am afraid of him, lest he come and smite me, the mother with the children. Thou saidest, I will do thee good, and will make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And there he tarried that night, and took of such as came to hand a present unto his brother Esau, two hundred she-goats, twenty he-goats, two hundred sheep, twenty rams, and thirty milk camels with their foals, forty kin or kine, ten bullocks, twenty she-asses, with ten foals, and put them in the hands of his servants, every flock by themselves, and said unto them, Go ye forth before me, and put a space betwixt one flock after the other, and commanded the first, and said, When my brother Esau meeteth thee, and asketh thee, Whose art thou? And whither goest thou? And whose are these that thou drivest before thee? Thou shalt say, They be thy servant Jacob's, which sendeth a present unto his lord Esau, and cometh behind us himself. Thus commanded he the second also, and the third and all them that followed the flocks, and said, Like as I have told you, so speak ye unto Esau, when ye meet him, and said unto him also, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. 
for he thought, I will reconcile him with the present that goeth before me. Afterward will I see him myself. Peradventure he shall receive me to grace. So the present went before him, but he tarried in the tent the same night, and rose up in the night, and took his two wives, and the two maidens, and his eleven sons, and went unto the ford of Jacob, took them, and carried them over the water, so that all that he had came over, and tarried himself alone on this side. Then wrestled there a man with him until the break of the day, and when he saw that he might not overcome him, he touched the sinew of his thigh, and the sinew of his thigh shrank in wrestling with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh on. But he answered, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. He said, What is thy name? He answered, Jacob. He said, Thou shalt no more be called Jacob, but Israel, for thou hast striven with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, what is thy name? But he said, Why askest thou what my name is? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my soul is recovered. And as he came over from Peniel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore eat the children of Israel no vein upon the sinew of, thy, of the thigh unto this day, because the vein upon the sinew of Jacob's thigh was touched.